Markle and Prince Harry chaos, Canada locals defend pair, it is getting violent. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are being fiercely protected by their new neighbours in Canada amid simmering tensions in the local area about the presence of the royal couple. Residents living nearby the couple's pound 10 million rented mansion in North Sanic, Vancouver Island, have warmly welcomed the Sussexes following their decision to step back from royal life, despite tensions in the UK and Canada. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's presence has created tension in the area with reports angry vigilante residents are even threatening paparazzi in their desperate bid to protect the young family's privacy. One photographer told how he had been intimidated and even threatened with being beaten up, according to the Daily Telegraph. Council officials have also been approached to plant trees and create signs to ensure Meghan and Harry enjoy private time in their new home. Locals are even pressuring council officials to put up signs reading local, resident traffic only on roads around Milfler. But the council declined saying, the areas in question are public highways and public rights of way. Unfortunately, these legal means do not have the ability to restrict use to non-residents. Meanwhile, a local cafe Deep Cove Market, where Prince Harry has been spotted, has even declared itself a press-free zone. It comes after reports there have been a number of altercations between photographers targeting the couple and angry locals. A source told the Mail on Sunday, the locals are very protective of Meghan and Harry. It's got to the point where things are becoming violent. Meghan and Harry sensationally announced they were stepping down from the senior royal duties in January in order to become financially independent. The couple said they plan to split their time between the UK and North America going forward. However, following an agreement with the Queen they have agreed to drop their Sussex royal branding. Meghan and Prince Harry will be carrying out their final rounds of royal engagements in the UK over the next couple of weeks. But the Sussexes have reportedly made the decision to leave their nine-month-old baby son back in Canada, with a nanny and Meghan's friend Jessica Mulroney when the Duchess of Sussex flies into the UK to join her husband for the final rounds of royal engagements. The couple's decision to leave their son Archie Harrison behind in Canada has left the Queen very sad at the prospect of not seeing her great-grandson. The Sunday Times reported that the 93-year-old monarch and Prince Philip are deeply disappointed that they won't be seeing their great-grandson. Meghan and Harry warned baby Archie is biggest security threat he's a real kidnap risk. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been warned that baby Archie is a real kidnap risk by a former royal protection officer. Ken Wharf told ITV Good Morning Britain that Archie is the biggest threat when dealing with the family's security. Mr. Wharf stated that there was a real risk of the nine month old baby being kidnapped. Archie has remained in Canada while the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have returned to England. Good Morning Britain host Piers Morgan asked, this figure of pound 20 million to look after the family, is that accurate? Mr. Wharf replied, I think it is accurate, it is a bit of an unknown environment they are moving into here. If you look at the average salary of a protection officer currently it is about 100,000 pounds. If you are looking at their security Megan, Harry and the baby you are looking at two per person minimum so that is 600,000 pounds. That doesn't include the accommodation the traveling, the administration of actually running something like this. The Good Morning Britain host said, It struck me as slightly odd that both parents would be in London and this little nine-month-old baby is left back in Canada. On the financial aspect of this, that means that Archie has to be protected in Canada while both his parents have to be protected here. The former Royal Protection Officer responded, from my point of view Archie is probably the biggest threat to the family than the parents in the sense that there is a real threat of a kidnap here. Mr. Morgan added, whatever your view of Meghan and Harry they absolutely do need high-level security and we saw with Princess Diana that when you get rid of royal protection officers you have to make sure that the people you bring in are of the same high standard. Last week a former royal bodyguard told the BBC's World at One that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry need to keep police protection. Jackie Davis said, as good as we are in the private sector, it is not just about the people on the ground. You have intelligence in the background. You have got to fact which Scotland Yard has. 
Thak is people who are known to have a grudge against the royal family and are kept an eye on I believe. So you need all of that. If something goes wrong in the private sector we haven't got several carriers of policemen sitting around the corner coming to our assistance.